Hello guys and welcome to the first episode of Awning Gamers channel and today we're gonna do a tutorial video and you might be expecting gaming videos and I will do that too. Um, so let's get going and my name is Ryan before I start I'm the host of this channel and you will be seeing me in every episode and even in today's episode I'm the one speaking right <laughs> yeah obviously so let's get going and today we're going to do a tutorial video as I said earlier and it's all about how to download DS games on your Android device and many people have been asking me hey Ryan how do you download DS games on Android? How do you download DS games on Android? How do you download DS games on Android? And then I'm fed up with those questions and I'm gonna show them myself on this video. And here's the answer for those who asked. And it's a pretty good method and it's safe for your mobile device if you're wondering. And it's um, an authorized site which we're gonna download from. So first of all, if you download the game, it's a file. You cannot open it unless you have your... Of course, uh, Android devices have their own emulators, but then GBA, that's only for the Game Boy emulators. We don't, Android devices don't have draft, um, they don't have DS emulators. So we're going to download that from the Play Store itself. And uh, in my case, I've downloaded Drastic, the best um, DS emulator in the world, and I personally recommend that. But if you're going to want, um, but it's paid, of course, and if you don't want to pay, it's going to have to type in DS emulator in your... Play Store and you're gonna go out and check all these emulators out. And here is, as you can see, there's the demo version of DS emulator, and the creator did a pretty good job in making the demo version because the demo version actually um, teaches the people or shows them what DS emulator is actually is, but it only runs for 30. Uh, well, the DS emulator, the demo version only runs uh, or allows 30 minutes of playtime, which is little, and it does not allow save or load states. Um, so, if you don't want to waste your $8 and you're going to be like, oh, I wasted it, go check out the demo, and which I did myself, and I pretty much enjoyed it, so I just go ahead and download the real version, and there's the save and load, and then there's the speed, you, so you can play the game if you're, in case if you're like, oh, this is taking too long, you can just go ahead and click this button and the game will speed up, and then there's the flip sides and everything, and there, yeah, that's it. So after we're done with the emulators, we're going to go into our web browser. Go ahead and check out uh, the game you want to download. For me, it's uh, Pokemon Black. Come on. Black. What the heck? What's wrong with this keypad? Black. Okay, okay. This keypad's making me sick. Uh, Black 2. Of course, the console's name DS. Then you type in um, ROM. So there you go. Um, my personal favorite is Emmy Paradise. It's the best ROM downloading site, but um, it's under service right now. So we just go ahead and go to Love ROMs. As you can see, um, it's 77.7 .7 MB. The file name 6.49 Pokemon Black 2 version. Um, Ufriends dot 7ZS Z's. Is it and rating is 4.3 over 5 and 158 volts. Console Nintendo DS downloads 275,686, which is pretty good. And then we, after you click download, um, just wait for the download to finish. And then you go when the download is finished, you go into drastic. And after you've done that, you just load your game um, from this from your download file or wherever you saved it. And then um, you just click on it. And once you clicked on it. It's uh it's gonna show on these these menus and if you want to start playing uh, right away just click start game and then continue last save if you save the game once you played it it's gonna resume onto that configure options um well it's basically a couple of options and create shortcut is basically creating a shortcut so, like if you want to play the game fast you just have to click on create shortcut so it's gonna create a shortcut on your home screen and you click it and it goes to the game straight away. That's pretty a good choice, and then, see, uh, I'm playing Pokemon Y2 now, and it's pretty much fast and running, and it's everything is fast in this game, and it's pretty good, and yeah, see, the graphics are very good, and then you have the touch screen over here, it's pretty good, actually, uh, this emulator, so, thank you guys for watching, if you like my video, please like, subscribe, or comment, 
if you guys have any concerns or complaints please post it in the comment box below and I will be making a walkthrough later on this game I guess um just stay tuned for that guys and bye see you next time